Aquarius and welcome to your April reading. Before we get started, I'm just going to mention that we're going to be switching up the spread a little bit. Um, so I hope this really helps you to break down the whole month of April. So we're going to go week by week to really break it down and then sum it up like overall in a whole. Okay, so first we're going to pull some oracle and then we're going to dig a little bit deeper with some tarot and then we're going to pull some positive affirmations at the end. Um, my intention is for you to at least get one message out of this reading. So if that message um, is brought to you, please hit the like. And if you haven't already, subscribe and comment below if you like. And um, yeah, don't forget to hit the little bell at the notification um, so that you can... Uh, receive notifications every time my videos do get posted so that bell is very important so don't forget to click that and um, yeah let's go ahead and get started so Aquarius what is happening for Aquarius in the month of April we are going to call upon angels from the divine as well as our ancestors to bring these messages today for Aquarius in the month of April First week, Magic Guardian. So you're really like tapping into your um, magic ways, okay? Like you could be, um, yeah, you're definitely unlocking the magic within. Ooh, okay. Second week, Elder. You're moving beyond your ancestral patterns, um, any traditions that really like um, like, I feel like you're breaking cycles in the second week of April. Spirit Fox, you're really trusting within these changing times. Okay, you're going with the flow with whatever you have been manifesting in the first week of April. And at the last week of e April, we have the wise one. So you... Um, for some of you, you could be um, an older person, but for a lot of you, um, you are definitely breaking these cycles in the month of April, and um, you're growing within your current situation, okay? You're really, like, trusting um, in your talents. Uh, these could be creative projects. Um, these could you. let's see here, heavy emphasis on wisdom, like, you're very intuitive. You're a very intuitive person. And um, you have been manifesting. And I do feel like um, you're going to be moving past these cycles, right, um, that have just, like, really held you back. And at the bottom of the deck, we have you're looking at things from a different perspective, from a higher view, okay? And you're looking down, and you're really opening up that that third eye, and you're really letting the, the pureness of source really, like, come through to you. And, um... <clears throat> And look, you are not alone. Like, source is, like, there, okay? So your spirit ain't... Your spirit... La like, loved ones, your past loved ones... I can't even talk. Your past loved ones and your spirit guides are really guiding you and letting you know that you are not... Uh, you're not alone. Like, it's really time to tap into your, your magic, okay? What you know. It's time to move past... Um, what your ancestors have put you through, okay, that's what I'm picking up on, or um, cycles from from way past our time, like way, um, like any traditions that have like held you back, like now is the time to trust in those changing times and grow within that, okay, so we are going to pull some tarot and we're going to break it down a little bit more here, first week of April for Aquarius, please, of Yes, thank you. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely completing cycles. Um, just a heavy confirmation here is, yeah, you're completing cycles from any past uh, traumas from your ancestry. Um, okay, let's go ahead and, okay, 
Yeah, from any nasty egos, this could be a masculine uh, energy. You're also like you're being active with your creative projects. Um, any stubbornness like getting in the way or or people just lack of responsibility or people um, who just have bullied you in the past. I feel like like you're definitely completing those cycles. Um, let's see here. So we have the Knight of Wands. Like, this is just a very chaotic, like, impulsive energy. Like, any chaoticness in the past that you have dealt with in regards to this nasty, like, ego. Okay, like, you are definitely completing these cycles and you're moving past. You're moving beyond and you're trusting within, okay? And it's definitely because you are tapping more into your... um subconscious I feel like is what they're trying to tell me um yeah any instability and in the third or in the second week of April like you're definitely moving past um this could be instability um in the home life it could be instability in um yeah stressing about money like you're moving past that look you're moving forward from that um where you have gone hungry where people have put you in this box where you were only allowed to see like black and white like you are definitely healing from that and um you have been battling this for quite some time uh for some of you and um you're gonna be moving forward to to riches okay you're gonna be moving forward from these um blockages of the mental okay and um things that were once a challenge like you're gonna start repairing uh, that work and finding a sport in it, okay? You're going to start repairing that, yeah. And Spirit is saying, look, you have to reach out to people in order for them, for people to help you along this way. And I do feel heavy emphasis on two individuals that um, you have to really trust in because they're going to help you plan out this um, craft, okay? Whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, here's the three pinnacles. Here, okay, heavy emphasis on three and three. It's going to take three people, okay, or two people that you really have to trust in to, okay, whatever that means to you. Like I said, this is just a general reading. Um, third week of April, yeah, you're fully learning from this past, and um, with the Knight of Swords energy, this is like very... Um, it could be a violent past, could be a violent person from the past. You're learning from this and um, you're, this could be like deliberately just being like cruel to you, okay, making you feel burnt out, uh, but you're fully learning from that and you have trusted within from, from these setbacks and you're learning that it only takes a small group of people to really um, uplift you. Okay, it's going to, it, you're going to make new connections, okay, because you have fully trusted in these and you're going with the flow and that's going to create new connections, okay, heavy emphasis again on three, okay, um, yeah, you, it's just like a handful of people that is going to help you move forward and to help you grow, fourth week, yeah, you're going to be able to experience pure happiness and joy. Like your cup is going to be over fulfilled. Um, there could be a lover in your life or you're just letting love in. You feel the love in all forms. Okay. Um, and you're just really, really happy in the fourth week of April. Okay. Um, heavy emphasis on creativity, abundance, prosperity, growth. Okay. I feel like if you are in a relationship, like, um, this is your other half, um, that you see them as someone who is potentially a good mother, um, someone who is full of creative, um, creativeness and abundance in their life, someone who is determined to what, for what they're after. Okay. Um, I do feel heavy emphasis, your manifesting, like um 
just family contentment, um, total love and support, okay? And um, this could also be you, like you you are manifesting your happiness, okay? Your pure happiness. You're manifesting all of your cups to be filled. Um, if you're not a relationship, you're definitely asking yourself what's important in a relationship or what's important in this, in this love. And, um, okay, whereas before, like... People could have been like cold and angry and carelessness and absent in your life. And um, if this is not about a relationship, I mean, I, I keep bringing up relationship because of the lover's card. But um, you're really asking yourself what's important in the last week of April. Like what's really important to you? Okay, and um, because you have gone through this cold aggression, um you know, type of people you have gone through, like, maybe this could be you, like, cold and rigid and just angry, um, you've been feeling careless and absent, um, okay, but you are really shutting off the old and you're stepping into the new, okay, you're stepping into the light, and sometimes with the death card is, like, the, sometimes that needs to happen, sometimes you, your inner self has to... I guess in a way die so that you can be reborn again okay so you're learning how to grow within your current situation and that and all together will bring you when you transform it will bring you um lots of prosperity and growth and love and happiness in your life and you will feel totally content with who not only who you are but your family um you feel the love and support around you you have friends that love you okay and um heavy emphasis on guardian your guardian angel is just letting you know that you're not alone and you are going to grow out of this situation okay so Let's go ahead and pull some positive affirmations. What a beautiful reading, Aquarius. All right, first card out, faith over fear. So definitely um, start having more faith in the things that you are manifesting. Also start having more faith in the things that you are creating. Um, as far as like talents, you are transforming. You're really opening up your third eye and your heart chakra at this time to let yourself bloom. Okay, take a leap of faith. It is coming into springtime, so really plant those seeds. So, um, you know, the magic can can bloom, okay? And you will reap the rewards that you do uh, put in, okay? And your wishes are going to be granted in the month of April. So much love and light headed your way, Aquarius, and I will see you soon. Take care.